guys, it's Janine and welcome back to my channel and I'm starting this video off barefaced and with a little bit of a different background because today I'm going to be doing a drugstore first impressions makeup tutorial. Um, basically, I've never done a full drugstore makeup tutorial on my channel, which is just shocking, so I asked you guys to tweet me some products that you recommend, and I went out and bought almost every single product that you guys recommended, and then I also used some products that I already knew that worked very well for me in my past experience and just currently what I'm using. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a little different. This is not really what I do on my channel, but I was just inspired by like Tati and you know, wanted to try something new. Um, so yeah, all these products are pretty much first impression. I haven't really used any of these. They're all still in their package. So I am going to be doing, you know, my first impression on them. Hopefully this look turns out good. Fingers crossed. And let's just get right into it. Starting off with the face, I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Smooth 100, and I've used this before, so I do know that this is good, but I haven't used this in a while, honestly. Visually blurs, tones, imperfections, smooths fine, smooths fine lines. Prime skin for a smooth start, lightweight, non-oily formula, does not clog pores. Wear alone or under makeup to refine wear. Definitely got some blemishes on my face today because guess who's on her period? <laughs> So the, the pimples are out to play today. Okay, next thing. I'm actually really excited to recommend this because I have been using this for since BeautyCon New York. They gave this to me and I've been using it and it's like a very, very good dupe for my Too Faced Born This Way. It's beautiful, the coverage is great, it lasts all day. It's like, it's very, very comparable to my Too Faced. So, I'm gonna use my Beauty, beauty Blender. Coverage is great. The color, I feel like, matches me really, really well. So I'm very impressed with that. My only concern with this foundation is it does have SPF 30, so I would never wear this foundation out at night, but during the day, um, at night because if I'm taking flash photography or flash pics, um, but during the day, this foundation is great. It really does last and it's a beautiful foundation. It's their, um, I did not even say the name. The CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. I am in the shade at 732. Sorry, I'm new at this whole makeup tutorial thing style like this. I'm not talking to you, I'm sorry. But the SPF in this foundation is great because during the day, you know, you're still protecting your skin and whatnot. But at night, I probably wouldn't wear this. I'd still use my Too Faced one because that one looks great in flash. I also um, fake tanned, so it probably may not match up. I don't ever fake tan really. I've been doing it lately, so I'm not also used to having to match my foundation to my body type of thing with self tanner. Like that's just not something you really do. So I apologize for that and I wouldn't say this foundation is a hundred percent full coverage because you can kind of still see my pimple poking through a little bit so I'd say it's like medium to full but I wouldn't say a hundred percent full coverage okay so for concealer this is what you guys all recommended to me this is the Maybelline instant Adri one concealer and uh, this is just their brightening and illuminating one in 160 I have used this in the past before but I think the last time I used this was like high school so it's been a long time so I really hope that this works. I hope that's not too much. I feel like this is gonna be like really, really white, so I'm a little nervous about that. But it's, yeah, like I almost feel like that's too light. Oh no, I'm scared. Was this the wrong shade? Like, this is what everybody said. Ooh, blends out really nicely though. Definitely is brightening, I will say that. I feel like it dries really fast though. That's one thing that I'm noticing is it dries pretty fast. It blends great. It's good coverage. I'm impressed with that. Um, but I do feel like that's the wrong color. I'm like looking in my mirror right now and it looks too pink and white. So I don't like that. Okay, I already use this all the time, but I'm going to be baking and setting my face with the Cody Airspun Powder, and I use this every single day, so that's why I just recommend this, because it is like the best, most cheap bang for your buck powder you can possibly find, so I'm gonna use this today. These blemishes are driving me nuts. I feel like my face is not matching my body so well right now, but hopefully bronzing will fix that. Okay, while that's baking, I'm gonna go ahead and contour, and you guys all recommended me, to me, or some of you guys, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I got this at Ulta. Whoa. I, you can like smell it already. I don't know how I feel about that. Part of it smells really nice, but then part of it smells very chemically, but the good thing is you do get a brush, or 
whatever the heck that is, a sponge? No, I'm not using that, no. This is matte, it's, it looks like that. Let's, let's do it, let's test this bad boy out. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be, like the, you really have to kind of get in there to really just get a lot of color, so that's something that I'm noticing, is it not, if you just tap it in there, it's not just gonna like get on your brush instantly, like my Benefit Hula Bronzer would. Like even now, I feel like it's still not really, like I'm shoving my brush in the pan. Like I, it's not coming off. Okay, you know, it, it got the job done, I will say that. It's just, I do definitely still prefer my Benefit Hula Bronzer over that, but it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. Let me go ahead and wipe this off. Yeah, my face is not matching my body like whatsoever right now and it's really driving me nuts. Okay, moving on to blush. You guys recommended to me two different blushes. The first one is the Milani Baked Blush in 05 and this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. I'm going to try both of them out and just kind of see and, you know, just get a feel for it. So the Milani blush comes with a brush on the bottom, which is great in theory, but I would never use this brush. But I do like that it comes with a mirror, that's nice. Doesn't smell like anything in particular, so... Ooh! Ooh! You have to tap that so lightly. I just tapped it and stuff flew everywhere. Alright, definitely tapping that off because otherwise I'm going to look like a clown. It's very pigmented, but I do think that this is too pinky, corally for my taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this Wet n Wild one, the Mellow Wine one, because I like more of mauve kind of colors. This one too comes with a brush, but look at the size of this thing. How would, how would anybody wear that? Like, how would, what? <laughs> that ain't gonna work. All right, let's try this one. This one also does look a little bit more poorly too, but we'll work with it. It's a very, very pigmented blush. I will tell you that you have to go very light-handed with that. So there's the blush. It's definitely a lot more pinky and rosy than I would normally wear, but the color's nice. Okay, next is blush, and this is the one you guys recommended to me. This is the Wet n Wild I'll Have a Cosmo. This is their Two Perf to Reflect Shimmer Palette. So let's try this out. Never used this before. Okay. Doesn't smell like anything. I'm gonna use my Luxie highlighter brush. Ooh. Wow. It's definitely on the pinkier side, but it works. Like look at that nose highlight, it's cute. It's cute, girl. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, my only complaint would be that this is not conducive for traveling because of how big it is, but you do get more bang for your buck. The um, pigmentation's great. It's very, very, I mean, I can, it's popping right now, y'all. Do you see that? I mean, maybe that's just me, but in my mirror, my nose highlight is popping. I forgot to contour my nose. What? No wonder why I felt naked and empty and dead inside. BRB. Thank God for contouring, I have risen from the dead. I am alive again, Janine is back. Okay, thoughts so far is that, you know, it's not bad, it's just something's off. Like, I'm just looking in the mirror and just something feels off about all of it, but we're gonna continue to press on. Before I move on, I'm going to use the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This is their long lasting one. The sprayer on this thing, not my fave. Okay, so for brows, you guys all recommended to me the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I got the shade Chocolate. Hopefully this matches me. I'm wondering if it's um, comparable to Anastasia. I'm so bad at doing brows on camera, so please do not judge me. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not Tati. Just, just go easy on me so I don't do makeup tutorials. Ooh, this is very soft. Like, you can just push a little bit and it transfers very well. I do like how fine the brush is because you can really get exactly where you want it to be and draw fake little hairs with it, which I like. I don't think this is my shade though. I think this shade is too light. Pleasantly surprised with this so far. I do think this is a great Anastasia dupe. Look at the color, like 
it's clearly wrong. I didn't know. It looks like it was gonna be in my right shade, but it's definitely not. But if I got my right shade, then this, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with this. Okay. That's as good as it's gonna get right now. I'm, I'm so overdoing these. I've been doing these for like 10 minutes straight. I would definitely get one of these just in my right shade. This is bomb and it's way cheaper than Anastasia. Okay, so to set the brows and kind of make them a little bit more matching to my hair color, I'm taking the Rimmel London Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel in dark brown. Okay, I think that was good. It kind of helped to darken up the brows a little bit. I do recommend this product. I've been using it for the past two weeks and it's pretty good. Okay, moving on to eyes, which is always scary. I'm not like this Nikki tutorial, so I don't know what eye look I'm gonna do just yet. But the only thing that I forgot to get in this makeup tutorial is eye primer from the drugstore. I know that Maybelline has a good one, but I completely forgot to get one. So I'm just gonna use a Smashbox one today. This is their 24 hour one, and then we'll proceed on to eyeshadow. Okay, so for eyeshadow, this is the palette I got right here. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, Palette Ombre. And this is their Warm Neutrals palette, and it comes with about, it comes with 16 shades in it. It's definitely a warm, nice, neutral little palette. So let's see how this thing performs. I have no idea what look I'm gonna do, so we're about to figure this out together. Okay, so I'm gonna start off, I guess, trying to do a transition shade. I'm not really seeing any very good lightish neutral brown. I mean, the best one is probably this one right here, but even then, that's still pretty light. Or we have this one right here, which I still think is pretty dark. Probably start with, with this one right here and just see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, it's showing up. Pretty good. Could it be better? I think so. Yeah, you really just gotta keep building it. Okay, so for the crease, I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm just gonna go for a red look because that's what I've been using lately. Ooh, that one's pretty. Nice. Very pigmented. Wow, that was great. Y'all see that? That's great. That's popping. Not mad at this palette. This palette's doing wonders right now. I'm very impressed. For the lid, I'm just gonna go with a fun color. I'm gonna go and take this shimmery one right here. I'm gonna try that one and see how that looks. Be, I'm predicting this is gonna have some fallout. Hmm, no fallout, but not the oh, No, wait, I take that back. I was gonna say not the most pigmented. I take that back. NYX, like, dang! I'm gonna take the other side of the brush. I'm gonna take this lighter one and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Okay, and I'm going to do, I think, on the outer corner, matte brown right here. I'm gonna do the, this matte brown on the outer corner. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take all those same colors I put up here, put them under the bottom, and just balance it out. Okay, so last step, I gotta, you know, get the inner corner and Bravo pop in. So we're gonna take this matte white, see what this thing does. Okay. Okay, so there's the eyeshadow look. What do you guys think? I'm pretty freaking impressed with this little guy. Like, very impressed. I would definitely use this palette again. NYX. You did it again. Next, I'm gonna do a small winged eyeliner. I personally don't like winged eyeliner on me very much, so I'm gonna just do a little one. And we have the Rimmel London Color Precise um, Eyeliner. So there's that. It's black. Break this bad boy out. Okay, y'all, winged eyeliner is not my specialty. I never do it, so please don't hate me if I mess this up, because I probably will. Ooh, this is really easy to use. I like that. Ooh, this is great. Yeah, they weren't kidding when they said precise. The tip does not bend, which is really nice because you can get perfect control over it. Okay, it's probably as good as that one's gonna get. <laughs> See the left eye. It doesn't feel as black on this other eye, I think because there's eyeshadow rubbing up on it, off on it, but it's starting to look a little bit more gray on this eye. Okay, uh, yeah, 
I'm gonna stop with the winged eyeliner before it gets bad and even worse than it already is. That eyeliner was really, really good. Um, I do think I would reuse it again, but it felt like it started to dry out after a while, which was kind of weird. So maybe to just shake it in between each use or something, but I definitely think I would try that one again. For tight line, I'm going to be trying out this one right here. This is the Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner in black. All right, so this one has a smudger on the bottom, which I won't be needing since I'm not putting it on the top. And I almost feel like this one might not work for my tight line. Okay, looks like that. It does come off a little bit gray though, but we'll try it out. I feel like the tip is a little bit too pointy for tight lining because it kind of like hurts <laughs> and it's not as soft for tight lining. Mm, I, don't, I don't like this one for tight lining, it hurts. I'm just gonna use my Maybelline one. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. I'm gonna use this one instead because I know this one works and I've used this in the past. However, this one does smudge a bit. Oh, so much better. Moving on to mascara, I picked up two, but this is the one that you all were like highly recommending to me. I've been interested to try this out anyway, but I also have the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. So I'm first gonna try out this one, and if this one doesn't do very well, then you know we'll see how this one performs, but pretty excited for this one. This is just the very black one. Not bad, what do y'all think? Not bad. It's not as thickening as I would like it to be. It does give good separation though, um, in good length, but it's not, I feel like it's not as thickening. But I also just really like really big, dark, full lashes. But this could be good for like more simpler everyday eye, but maybe not necessarily for this look. You really gotta, you gotta build this one up, I guess. Oops, starting to get clumpy on me. What do y'all think? Not my fave. I'm gonna try the Scandalize, see what happens. Bringing it back up, we're taking the Rimmel Scandalize. That brush is massive. Holy moly, I was not expecting that. This mascara is so dry. This is definitely not a wet formula, I'll tell you that. Maybelline Colossal one. And I, I don't think I'm gonna do false lashes for this look. There's the eyes. What do y'all think? Mascaras, not impressed with very much. Okay, and last but not least, we have lips. And what you guys recommended to me were the NYX lingerie ones. I got the shade Push Up in the shade Dusk to Dawn. So these are from NYX. All right, I'm gonna swatch both of these and just see which one I think is gonna look best with this look. Ooh, that one's pretty. That one is more of a um, mauve kind of shade. There's the other one. I feel like they don't look like that in, this, in the bottle, so I'm a little like, eh. Maybe I'll combine them and just see what happens. Because <laughs> I'm not very fond of either of those separately, to be honest. I'm gonna start off with the um, the lighter one. This is the Dusk to Dawn shade. What? I did not think it was gonna be that light. Uh-uh. Okay, I'm not crazy, right? It does not look that bright in the bottle. I'm not crazy, right? I'm not really fond of this applicator. There's something about it that just doesn't, I, I just don't like. This is um, very streaky. I'm gonna try and apply this on top now and just kind of see what happens. I might totally screw this up by mixing it. I have no idea. Ooh, mixing it feels weird on my lips. <laughs> color wise, I think mixing it was the way to go because I got a color that I like um, individually. I don't really like those colors, but I do like them mixed, so that's not bad. I, I like this color now that I've mixed it. I really, really like it. It's like the most perfect nude, I feel like, for my skin color. I'm gonna set the face one last time with the, um, with the NYX spray. Okay guys, so this is the final look that I did with all drugstore makeup products, I mean besides one, but I am overall extremely pleased. My lashes, now I do think my lashes look pretty good right now since I curled them, but I wouldn't say they're my absolute favorite. I don't know if I would reuse those mascaras to be honest. The eyeshadow palette was phenomenal. I will 100% use the eyeshadow palette again. The eyeliner, when I curled my lashes, the eyeliner's totally gone, so there's that. Yeah, it already like flaked off as an un and is uneven, so that's kind of annoying, and it's like smudged right here already. Um, the lipstick, I like the lipstick. I just had to mix two to get the shade that I want, but I'm sure I could go back and find a shade that's perfect and that I don't have to mix with. Highlighter, I think, is absolutely beautiful. The blush is beautiful. The bronzer is great, but I don't feel like it's as 
pigmented as I want it to be, but overall I am very impressed. I definitely feel like I should give drugstore makeup more credibility and try it out more because I mainly only use high end. But y'all, I'm I'm pretty impressed. What do you guys think of this look? I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think it's beautiful. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? It looks identical to a look that I do with high-end products, but this is the drugstore version, and I think it turned out great. So if you guys enjoy this video and enjoy to see me, you know, doing a first impression, all that stuff, because I don't really do these videos very often since I'm not really like a beauty guru, but I thought this was so fun to do. So if you guys want more videos like this, of course let me know in the comments down below, and you can check out all my social media and my vlog channel down below as well. Well, Bean TV and Ginny and Mapola are my social media and vlog channel. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching and peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys.